Hey guys, guess what? It's time for me to upgrade my system yet again, but with good reason, because you're probably like, why is he doing this? He just got a 4K system a couple of months ago. With good reason, Swan has just released a new system. Oh, and for those of you budget shopping, the price has come way down. You know, before you were looking at $1,400, $1,500. Now you're at around 800 bucks, depending on when you're watching this video and where you live, uh, for a 4K system. But for all the links on where to buy it, it's in the description below. So why, you're asking why am I upgrading my system? Here, look, I'll show you. The main thing is the True Detect system. Now you're probably asking, what is True Detect? True Detect, uh, uses the same technology inside your sensors if you have a home alarm you know your motion sensors inside your home the same technology so if you have like a mouse or a rat in your house or a cat or something it won't set off the motion sensor that's because it's not detecting a big enough heat signature such as a human okay but this is using that technology so if something small or or like a leaf or a bug or a spider goes by with the analytics of a 4K system, you'll still it'll still record because it's detecting motion, and um, you can still get emails that way. But as far as the notification on your phone, it won't notify you. So now with True Detect, it will notify you when it notices a big enough heat signature, a car, a person, something that is more um, important for you to know right away. And I think that's why Swan never really did the notification thing before was, um, you know, on a windy day, tree going back and forth blowing or creating a shadow or leaves getting blown, your phone would be getting notified day and night and your battery would probably die. But uh, this way, you don't have to worry. So now you know when you get a notification, bang, it's something important, it's something big, it's a car, it's a human, it's something you're concerned about and want to know right away. Not to mention this system, uh, seems like Swan really listened because this system, has built-in microphones on each camera. So no more just having that one microphone for the whole system and having to run an additional RCA cable and buying an additional microphone that did not come with it. All of that is gone. This has built-in microphones with it and you're still using the same Cat5 cable that comes with it because this camera is um, PoE, which is power over ethernet. So all you need is one cable for each camera and that makes your um, installation time a lot easier. One cable per camera and it comes with all the cables. So now you can also hear. So even if something's uh, too dark or too far away for you to get a, a good description, maybe you'll be able to recognize the person or what's going on, uh, an accent in their voice via the microphone that'll be recorded as well. So I'm gonna stop talking because I'm really excited. I'm just gonna unbox it a little just so you can see because this here is so feature rich. There's so much to go over that uh, I'm gonna stop talking right now. All right guys. Okay, also I got a couple of other Swan goodies as you can see here. Um, I also have this right here. This is a dome camera and it has 4K. It's everything the same as these cameras in the new system, built-in microphone, true detect, everything. And so I'm actually uh, gonna install this on the side of my house so when people come on the side gate, I'll be able to see them there as well. That's why I picked this one up, but I'll show you it. And I have this one here, which is a five megapixel camera and it's 2.4 times clearer than 1080p with its five megapixels. So I bought this one to put in a different area of my house, which uh, where detail isn't necessarily as required as much as where I'm gonna put these. I want as much detail as possible with this system and these cameras, but this camera, I need to see, it's clear, provides great detail, but not as sharp or as good as 4K, obviously. So uh, yeah, and this still has the True Detect system, and you can hear what's going on with the built-in microphone. I love, love, love the fact that all these cameras that are coming out from Swan and their new system is able to just have the one microphone built in, and you can hear audio on each camera. All right, so I'm gonna open this up really quick because I know you guys love unboxings. So uh, yeah, this one's just gonna be a little more quicker than normal. All right, and you guys read this stuff, what you may need, what it may entail before you get started. Also, it's letting you know the content, so please read that, pay attention. 
and let's look at one of these new cool cameras. And in case you're wondering, these are the NHD885 cameras. Brand new, and uh, look at what we have here. All right, so it looks like they're back to the Allen key here to um, loosen this to make adjustments. Wires fed through, and that's where you'll plug in your Cat5. All right, inside there is your color image sensor. Here's your um, True Detect right there. And I don't know if you can see that little dot right there, but that is your built-in microphone on each camera. Okay, now this is my cameras that are on my existing house, the NHD880, and as you can see, the difference between the two. A little bigger, a little more black on there, and here's the front, and you see that big true detect sensor right there, built-in microphone, and uh, yeah. So you can sit the wires through here, so it mounts flush. And this would just mount on your wall like so. So as you can see, the bullet camera is smaller than the dome. Okay, so here is the new NVR. On top here where my thumb is covering, that is your QR code that you'll use with the new HomeSafe app from Swan, but I'll show you that we'll go through it. Uh, love the glossy black here. It's actually pretty cool. Now I can tell you this is considerably smaller than the current one. And no, your cameras from the other 4K system will not work with this one. This system will only work with the cameras that I showed, showed you here, the dome camera, the five megapixel camera, and the ones that came with it. So unfortunately, they will not work. Uh, right here, you'll have two lights, one indicating power, and one that your hard drive is working. Two USB up front, which I love. And in the back here, you have your power. The power will go in there. Audio out to anything. Me, I'll have the audio go, go out to my uh, uh, speaker system here in the office. VGA or HDMI, depending on your flavor. Whatever way you're hooking it up to your monitor or television. USB for your mouse. Uh, there's your ethernet in, and here are your eight channels. And that is it, you guys. Okay, so now I have everything out, ready to go. I'm going to do a little bit of a light install. Uh, I've showed you that on other videos, so if you wanna know how to install them and take care of the cameras down and all that stuff, don't worry, you can see that on my other Swan videos. For some of you that may put some of these cameras on the interior of your home, having that added microphone is well too. Let's say you have an elderly person and someone's taking care of them living with you or you have a babysitter Not only can you see what's going on, but you can hear what's going on in your home too. whatever they may or may not be saying to your loved one So with this new true detect and PIR system it virtually gets rid of false alarms because it's only sending you something when you get a big enough heat signature and Then that will be notif you'll get a notification to your phone. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not but this thing is quiet, like whisper quiet compared to the last four cases to my head. It is, I'm right next to it and you can barely, barely hear it. Okay, you guys, that is it. Just some quick connections, plugging in the Cat5 to the camera, then plugging in the Cat5 on the system itself, on the NVR, and you're rocking and rolling. Now, what you see here, uh, I have a total of five cameras, but I put this in a grid four shot here. That way you could also see the dome camera. Now, all four of these are in rich, glorious 4K, but if you stay tuned, uh, once I'm done talking and going through the software and stuff here and the app on the phone You will go ahead and see everything in true 4k. I'm only shooting in 720p But stay tuned once I'm done here at the end towards the end of the video You will see everything in glorious 4k now 
Uh, I wanted to point out the screen on the lower right, that is the dome camera. The rest of these here are bullet cameras, but you can't tell. They all look great, all in glorious 4K. Like I said, stay tuned at the uh, end of the video when I'm done here, and you'll see everything in true, real 4K. So don't worry about it. Uh, something that's new too, you can zoom in from the grid shot. So uh, if you take your mouse, there is a little roller on the mouse. You can go ahead and put it on whatever camera you want. So I'm gonna choose one in the upper left and just roll in and roll out. And you can see it zoom. And once you roll in, you can still move it by holding the mouse down to move up, down, as you're holding down. Zoom in, zoom out. Now I'll double click here and you see how crispy and luxurious and clear it is. Now maybe you can't tell because it's only in 720p, but trust me, trust me everybody, it looks great. Stay tuned towards the end of the video, you'll see it in glorious 4K as I'm zooming in here. Now to bring up the menu, you want to go ahead and right click on your mouse and that will bring this up down here. You can manually lock the screen, quad, that's if you want to switch it to four, nine, more layouts, stream switch, preview policy, start sequence, that means it'll randomly switch every channel, mute, and playback. Now, I said one of the main things that I really enjoyed was now having audio with this system. So I'll turn up the volume so we can hear these kids in the street. Maybe it's something really dark or someone far away and you can't quite get a clear enough picture, but you can hear them uh, with their voice. Maybe they have an accent or maybe it's a voice you recognize to help you identify the would-be criminal. So that's where the audio just comes in handy. And the microphone is already built in. You don't have to run any new cables, nothing of the sort. Okay, so you right click. And it'll bring up that home logo and it'll also bring up that menu I was just describing. So I'm gonna right click, hit the little home logo, and we're gonna just briefly, briefly skim through some of the software here. Okay, so I hit the menu button. First thing it does is bring up your IP channel on the left. That's the IP channel to all of your cameras. The next one here is live, and that is to change uh, the name, record time, uh, the, the format, all your stuff right here. Time format, 24 hour, 12 hours, 60 hertz. Output, that's live out, you want it live. And this is sequential mode. Dwell time, that means you hit that and every five seconds, it'll switch to the next camera. And you can change that from five seconds to two seconds, whatever you prefer. VGA resolution, that is going out to your output. So my TV here that we're looking at this on, hanging on the wall, is a 4K television image control. That's if you want to go ahead and, and adjust, uh, you know, angle, rotation, backlight, shutter, defog, how high you want the volume on each camera because it has a built-in microphone. Privacy zone, you guys already know what that is. That's when you, let's say it's being angled back towards your house and you don't want a certain area to be seen, maybe a window or something that sees into your house, you can draw a privacy zone. Okay, the next one down is record. These are just your basic settings here. If you want it on motion, if you want it on normal, you can copy to all, select each channel here. Mainstream, that's how it's recorded and how you see it, at what bit rate, if you want audio with it as well. And uh, here's one that's important for you. This is mobile stream. You can set the resolution that it will stream out to you. The highest is 640 by 480, which looks pretty good on the phone. Or at search, if it's dark grayed out, that's the previous month. If the numbers are red, that means it's a weekend day. And if it's in light gray, that means it's a day during the week. Uh, the little red triangles or notches in the corner, those are the days where you have recordings. So you're all good. And uh, here's your email settings. Enable, auto, here's the port. If you're using Gmail, here's your smtp.gmail server. Name, the password to that email address. Sender, uh, receiver, that's the email address of the person you want it going to. And interval every one minute. 
five minutes, whatever, and send your test email. Uh, email schedule, I just have mine on motion. Every time there's motion, I will know. All right, so now we hit alarm, we're at motion, and this is the important stuff. This is where you get notifications, emails, and things like that. So channel one, which is, uh, channel one is here for me. Enable motion. You could have it on motion and PIR. Totally up to you. Full screen push. So if you have this on passive infrared, that's where it's the heat sensing, where something that has a bit big heat signature will uh, trip your motion alarm, and that's the setting you would want it on to get notified, because if you just have it on motion, let's say, then anything, a bird, a cat, squirrel, trees blowing, anything is going to send you an email or a notification. You don't want that. So you go ahead and pick PIR and motion, and then you can select, do you want it to send you an email? Uh, do you want it to go full screen? Now full screen, what that means is, let's say how I have the four camera grid shot here, and then it detects uh, a big heat signature or something. It will now bring up that one screen on the TV. So for example, if someone walks by on this camera on the left, it senses that heat signature, it will now get rid of this grid shot and bring up that one camera to show me where the motion is. Once the motion is gone, after it detects the heat signature in that, then it'll go back to the grid shot. So if you want that, then you go ahead and select full screen here. Push, that means it'll send you a push notification to your phone. Then you also have this to send to the cloud if you want it backed up on the cloud. And uh, yeah, area is set up and that's how big you want it to cover. Those are all those squares there. And uh, yeah, if there's an area you don't want, you just go ahead and, you know, select where you don't want it. And then wherever motion or heat signature is detected there, it will not send you. So PIR in motion, motion, or totally disable altogether. Totally up to you. So motion is everything. PIR and motion is, you know, the important one. Only the main signature, heat signatures, that main thing that's with this new system that makes it so great. So that's what's great about it. You have it on push notifications for that, and you'll only get notified when it's something significant. And it uses the same technology that's in your interior motion sensors with your home alarm system. Very, very intelligent, very good. And you would select that off and on for each camera channel that you have there. All right, you guys, here we go. Hit analytics. All right, analytics. PID, that stands for Perimeter Intrusion Detection. So if you want to enable that, go ahead and enable, set up. So uh, let's say I draw a line around my wife's car here. Okay, so let's say I draw a line around my wife's car here. I don't know if you could see this, but it's creating a yellow line there. So I'll make a square. Bang. And you see that? Now it creates a box around my wife's car. If anyone goes in that for any reason, I'll get notified. So that's what that is. And you can have the rule setting from A to B, B to A. You see the A's and B's around there? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but those are A's and B's. So you can make it so you can go from B to A and it won't set anything out. So if someone's exiting the car, you're fine. But if something's coming in, in, in from A to B, A to B, A to B, then you can get alerted. And that's what perimeter intrusion detection is. In the next one, LCD, you're asking what that is. That's line crossing detection. You guys know, we've done this before. Set up, so let's say there's just a line that I'll put here and here and I set the rule from B to A. So if anyone comes towards my house, walking up the steps, across the grass, anywhere here, it will go ahead and alert me. And that is line crossing detection. That's great for a business or something, or, or on the side of your home. And anyone passes that line, you'll know about it. Okay, so the next one is SOD, Stationary Object Detection. Now, for instance, let's say, uh, you know, you got a piece of art, or uh, I'll draw a box, I'll draw 
box here. Same thing. Now it's there. And let's say that square in the middle is a piece of art or a statue, you know, this uh, electrical box thingy right there. Now let's say this in the middle is an object that I care about. It's a painting or a statue or something. And I drew a box around it. It knows it's supposed to be there. But if it's removed from that space, then bang, guess what? You get alerted. And that's what stationary object detection is. Okay, next one is PD, pedestrian detection. Enable. Boom! Now this distinguishes the movement from a person-shaped object or anything else. And your NVR will activate and send you an email, go full screen, whatever you want to do when that is enabled. And you can set that up. And there's a giant box around the whole window here. So anytime a person is inside there, you will know. Now the next one we have here is FD, that stands for face detection. Please don't get it confused with facial recognition. That's not what this is. This is face detection. So when it detects a face, not a specific person or face, but a face, you'll get notified. And the next one is CC, it stands for cross counting. Now what this does is count the time someone has crossed the line going back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. So you can set that up and if someone crosses the line more times than you're comfortable with, guess what? You'll get notified. Now you could select pedestrian or object something that goes back and forth, like let's say it's a car, like your kid's only supposed to come home one time and pull in, but if he's going back out, in, out, you'll get notified. And same, maybe you can switch it to pedestrian, whatever you choose. Now also here, going to device, then going to cloud, this is where you would enable your Dropbox. For those of you that have a Dropbox account and stuff like that, you can go ahead and do that here and then have photos and stuff like that uploaded to your Dropbox. Okay, the first thing you want to do is hop into the App Store and grab your Home Safe View app by Swan. Okay, so you'll open that up and hit the plus symbol right there to go ahead and add your NVR. Once you hit the plus symbol, it should look like this. And then device ID, it'll bring up your camera so you can go ahead and scan the QR code. And if you remember, the QR code is on top of the NVR itself. It's physically on top of the NVR like I showed you in the unboxing. Okay, so now that we're in the app, I'll go ahead and show you how to use it a little bit. A couple of features here to look closer on any camera, just go ahead and double tap and it'll bring it up. And you can also zoom in. And if you want audio to go along with that, go ahead and hit the speaker icon there and make sure it's not on mute like my phone is. And there's the audio. And trust me, you guys, you can hear extremely well. Now let's say you see something on camera and you wanna just take a quick picture. Double tap, bring it up big here. Hit the camera logo, then hit in the middle of the screen right there, that camera icon. Every time you do that, there's a quick flash and it saves it within the app. Uh, let's say you see something you wanna record. It brings up that icon, which looks like the little uh, record camera. So I'll bring this up here and I'll hit record. You see the red icon at the bottom right there? It is now recording. Stop. Now I'll show you where to find that. You hit that in the upper left, you go to record. And there's the video. And it just played what I briefly recorded. And same for your photos. Go to image. And here are the images that I just snapped. Now you also have the option if you want, you can hit down here at the bottom, you get play. So it'll play the images. You can hit the trash can thing to throw them away or you hit this one right here and you could save it to your phone, send it in a text message, whatever you'd like to do. Now I'll show you what it looks like when you get a 
notification from an alarm. It'll look something like that. So you get a notification, you touch it, and it'll take you to this screen. Okay, you tap it, and it'll take you to this screen showing you where all the alarms are. Then you hit that, and it will just take you instantly to a live feed. So it'll send you an email if you want, that's how I have mindset, to send me an email and notify me. So in an email, it'll show me a quick snapshot, and then when it notifies me, I hit it and it instantly takes me to the camera where motion was detected so I could see it live. So you get the best of both worlds. Now the mobile stream is below 720p, it's 640 by uh, 480. But if you want, you can change that. If you want a higher resolution, you hit this button right here because we're on the mobile stream. If you hit the main stream, then it's coming in pretty darn clear, close to 4K. I mean, it is pretty, pretty good. Okay, you guys, so that's the app. And that is the app, you guys. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I absolutely love this system. That PIR, the passive infrared, with its true detect and heat sensing, it's going to get rid of so many annoying, unwanted emails. And I think that's why Swan never switched to notifications before, because anything would set it off. Four years now. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Please enjoy the wonderful 4K footage right here. All right, guys.